G'day Armour 2 add-on makers, this is Nat with another tutorial. This is an Oxygen 2 tutorial number 5. We're going to talk about basic tools in this one. Let's start up Oxygen, shall we? Okay, well before we start, I'm going to do some basics about how to move around in uh, Oxygen 2. Um, obviously, four windows in front of us here. We can click in each of these view, front, left, 3D preview, top, and so on. Now to move around in these views you can use the scroll mouse button to move in and out to zoom in and out. You can use the cursor keys to move left and right. The same movement is accomplished by holding down the ALT key and left mouse button, sorry right mouse button and move around. Um, also uh, basically point and Click and drag is the other uh, obvious thing you can do with the mouse. Basically down here on the 3D view, you can hold down the Alt key, push the uh, right mouse button, and you can change the view around. Well, first off, I'm going to use something to uh, play around with. So we're going to go to the Create menu, Create, Plane, Box, Circle, Sphere, or cylinder. In our case we're going to create a cylinder. Um, it's basically length Z. Let's make that three meters long. How many segments we want? Let's just give it three segments. Um, radius is one meter in radius but uh, we'll need some segments to the radius. So let's say 16 different segments. It's uh, with most of the create options you have the option to align this creation to the center of the pin, align top, align bottom. Pretty much the same for all of them. Okay, we now have our cylinder. Now, zoom in and out here. Change the window. Okay, let's move to the first uh, icon up here on the toolbar. It's basically select object. Now, if you've got more than one object in here, when you press the uh, left mouse button and drag over any point you end up selecting the whole object so any objects that are ended up connected together you'll end up selecting all the objects that are connected together the other tool is uh, basically select vertices if you uh, select vertices basically you're only selecting the points now this is uh, also any points directly behind. So for example you'll see that I selected just one point in this view but in actual fact down here I've selected four down the same plane. If I just wanted to select one only and depending on how it's ranged it's probably best to go to the 3D view. So here I've selected four but if I just want to select one there I have just one point can select maybe that one there in the background, that one there, or so forth. So that's the easy way just to select one point. Or, in this case, two points. Okay, next tool on the toolbar. Basically, touch faces. Now, this one is basically where you're selecting a whole face. Uh, when I say face, let's use the 3D tool, shall we? Going to start up the 3D do view viewers bulldozer start restart and away we go. Now there's our object. Now when I select a face in this view, I'm basically touching a face. So as you can see here, I've touched one face. You can see the view here or here and so on. If we go to the 3D view I'll notice that you can see that only one face is selected in this view. I'm going to go back to normal here selecting all objects and another tool here rotate in 2D. So I'm going to select this whole object click the rotate in 2D and I enter an angle, let's say 45 degrees. It's 45 degrees in the selected view. If you wait a little bit, it'll preview and rotate itself. You also have the option to rotate around the pin. I'll show you the pin shortly. Pin's a, a set point that you can make. Press OK and it's set. Now you will notice while we're talking about it, normals. Normals are related to the way the light angles are reflected. 
we've rotated the uh, object but the normals haven't rotated necessarily correctly. If we look at the object in a 3D view it's looking a little odd on the light levels. If we go back to this and while we're in this view if we press F5 it realigns all the, light, the normals related to light. Go back to the 3D view looking a little better. Okay, let's rotate in 2D. Okay, well I'm actually going to use the other tool here called Scale in 2D. This icon right here. Basically the scaling of uh, the, uh, uh, the half is 0.5 or 2 times bigger. If you wait you'll see the scale in front of you. 0.5 is half and so forth. Now use the next lot of icons. This is um, 3D options. This is move. So this is basically allows you to move the objects within the frame. So I'm going to move it to uh, say 1. Again the preview works automatically. That's the X direction. 1 in the Y direction. And 1 in the Z direction. Now note here you can also apply this to all animations and all LODs and all LODs is important for these particular commands because you may want to move your whole model in every LOD in a certain direction or in a certain scale so that apply to all LODs is quite an important option right there. Press OK. Now we go to the next one which is basically rotate in 3D. So in this option we can um, rotate it at the angle, let's say 45 in X, 45 in Y, and we can also do 45 degrees in Z. And the other 3D option here is scale in 3D. So we can say half, two, and say three, and we can get some weird sort of a shape here by scaling different scales in different directions. And again, apply all LODs important for uh, scaling everything about your model.